So team, we're here in Tampa, Florida and busting it out, making some incredible recipe videos. We call it content, but it sounds a little heartless when you say content. <laughs> we're, shooting, we're shooting amazing recipe videos and my wife's like, you gotta make my mushroom Swiss chicken sandwich. I agree with her. I mean, it, when Jenny speaks, I listen, okay? <laughs> and, and it's taken me years to get trained like that. Uh, but she's right, you know, it's, it's just a great sandwich. It's a great alternative sandwich to the mushroom Swiss burger. So without further ado, we're gonna pull off Jenny's mushroom Swiss chicken sandwich. Let's get into the action. First things first, uh, we found some wonderful chicken breasts, okay? And I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag. The smaller, the better. Like if you can find double breasted, like double lobe, uh, six ounce chicken breast, that's great. These are a little larger, so I'm gonna make sure and pound them kind of thin. And by pounding them, yeah, it's gonna give us more surface area, uh, but it's also gonna tenderize it. So I've got my handy meat mallet here, my little French rolling pin, and we're just gonna pound, 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 but we wanna go for evenness. Think about a, 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 a lobe as a wedge. You've got that thicker part that needs a little more pounding than the thinner part or the more narrow part, right? So we want even thickness so that we get even cooking times. So let's get started. I'll be honest with you, that one piece might be good for two sandwiches. So I might even take this out and save that for tomorrow's lunch. So I'm gonna move this just a touch and we're gonna continue with this one piece for two sandwiches because I'm looking at my brioche buns and I'll tell you, that's pretty darn close. We're, it's gonna it's gonna shrink up as we cook a little bit, but so I think we're good. I love it. Again, take this little, little one out right here. Yeah, thanks a lot. And the benefit of getting it in there and really pounding it down. Now that it's pounded and macerated a little bit, I'm gonna get a little bit of seasoning in there and a little bit of lime juice in there. Uh, and just the acid's just gonna brighten it up just a touch, okay? So, and we chose a seasoning today that also has, that actually has dehydrated lime juice in it, among other things. So this is chili lime seasoning from Lane's Barbecue. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Just a touch of oil and let's massage everything in. Now we're gonna let this sit for just a second. So I'll zip this little Ziploc back up. We've still got a nice clean cutting board here. We're gonna do a little vegetable prep. I've got these gorgeous mushrooms that we'll just put a slight chop on. And nothing crazy. As you go crazy. As I go crazy. Well, you know, you, can, you cannot give a chef a mushroom, uh, a cucumber, or an onion and expect there not to be a chopping spree. You know, it just, it just happens that way. So you cut, 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 now you've got a flat side. I'll lay that flat and that gives me the ability to just rest on this and go as fast as I like. Beautiful, okay? And that's enough for, for two burgers. We could continue on, but that's, a, that's enough. I say burgers, two sandwiches. Uh, and then we've got the onion and I'll just slice this nice and thin. So we're gonna put these on the flat top and caramelize them. Beautiful. Uh, let's take a look at our grill setup. So I'm stabilized at about 375 Fahrenheit right now. And notice how I've got an open grill grate on the right hand side. This is where we're gonna grill our chicken breast, our marinated and seasoned chicken breast. And then on the left side here, uh, I've got a flat top, which is where we're gonna cook some of our, our, our mushrooms and our onions, okay? And we'll, we won't forget to season those. So let's go ahead and put those mushrooms and onions and start caramelizing those. We'll put a little bit of olive oil. Beautiful. Couldn't be a mushroom Swiss burger without the mushrooms. The onions will bring a little sweetness, a little caramelization. My wife loves it. Remember, that's all gonna be hidden underneath that melted Swiss on top of that gorgeous marinated chicken breast. Now that we've got that done and I've got my lid completely open, my draft door completely open, the temperature's gonna rise gradually. So, you know, we can have this feeling of kind of uh, momentum, if you will. So the searing's happening, that right hand side's gonna start heating up so I can start grilling, but we're not quite there yet. So while we're waiting for the grill to heat up and I can hear the sizzle tell me 
when the chicken's gonna be ready to throw on. We're gonna go ahead and slice a little bit of onion, uh, onion, I'm sorry, <laughs> tomato. Uh, we need two great pieces there and there. And do not forget to season your tomato. A little salt goes a long way on your tomato for a sandwich. Uh, we've got these beautiful brioche buns. So we'll toast those off uh, here in just a second with some of that oil from the onions and the mushrooms. That way everything's really melding together. Let me show you how we do that. We're just gonna push everything just a little bit. It's just a great summer sandwich. You know, we've got a nice little summer breeze blowing in. Now for the sauce. And this is almost a cheat, right? It's too easy. We've got some uh, Thousand Island, and then I drained a little bit of sauce from a can of uh, Chipotle with adobo. So it's a Chipotle Thousand Island. A little sweet, a little salty, a little heat, and that's gonna be wonderful on that bun with this chicken. Now it is almost time to put, you know I'm gonna lower this grill grate to the, the divide and conquer system in the Camacho allows us to raise or lower the grill grate. I'm gonna go a little bit lower and then we're gonna put that chicken breast on. And then I'm gonna use my ash tool and I'm gonna bank all of the charcoal. There's not a lot of charcoal in here, which is fine. I, I, I appreciate not having too much because you have better airflow. But I'm gonna bank all that charcoal that you do have underneath the grill grate. So I'm able to use less charcoal and attain higher temperatures exactly where I need them. Nice little bit of marination time on this chicken and look how gorgeous that is. And let's just lay it flat on that grill grate. Really get all that surface area touching. Oh yeah. Having the ability to drop that grill grate so close to, the, close to the flame is going to allow that chicken, that large surface area, to pick up some of that wonderful flame kissed natural lump charcoal flavor. Let's go ahead and flip these buns over and start building these burgers while the chicken's finishing up. Little bit of that delicious sauce right on the bottom, topped with some nice butter or bib lettuce. That's good looking lettuce. Oh yeah. Seasoned mater. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And let's take a look at our chicken, see if it's time to flip. Notice how it's getting white around the edges a little bit. I'm starting to see some flame down there. Let's take a peek, let's take a peek. Oh, baby. Great caramelization, flame kiss. Let's get these top buns off before they over caramelize, quote unquote, but that's great looking. Woo! Uh, and take a look at what's going on over here. Mushrooms, onions, seasoning. Fantastic. So what we're going to do is we'll pull this chicken right on top. Let's go ahead and slice it. Anybody who's cringing about me slicing right here, it's okay. <laughs> I do this all the time. Beautiful, moist, juicy, delicious chicken sandwich. Toppings. Yes, please. Can you hear me over the sizzle? Oh, barely. A good looking sizzle. Good looking sizzle. I'm trying to turn into you, Eric. Yeah. Well, uh, chicken sandwich is something to get emotional about. This is this is a Jenny chicken sandwich here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And now we're gonna utilize some of the heat retention in the dome here. Uh, let's go ahead and sauce the top of these as well. You know what I mean? Like we made the sauce. We might as well do the thing. Oh baby! So this guy's ready. Remember, we had we need a little extra time here because of the thickness of the cheese. Let's go right here. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Dang! Wow. Dang! Whoop! <laughs> wow! That's the chicken sandwich my wife deserves. What a stunner! You've got your mushroom Swiss chicken sandwich. Look even the backside of that's unbelievable. This is ridiculous. You get emotional about a chicken sand out. Your wife knows a few things. She was right. <laughs> you were right. I was wrong. You're the best. I'm the worst. <laughs> You're a thousand. I'm a one. I'm going for it. But I had the chicken sandwich. So here we go. Let's check that. Oh my God. Look at that, dude. Wow. Stunner. All right, here we go. We've made a lot of things on this channel, but that's, that's, top, that's a top five. That's a top five. And it was a chicken sandwich. You've heard us say it time and time again. 
simple things done perfectly win every time. And I'm not saying that was perfect, right? Simple things done right win every time. Uh, had a lot of fun with this, folks. If you enjoyed this sandwich as much as we enjoyed making it for you and taking that big old monster bite, <laughs> do me a favor, do all the things. The subscribe, notifications, like got, you know, business as usual, folks. Uh, and join us next week. And as always, from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy grilling. Thank you.